How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, my client flew in for the next two days and I'm gonna be doing an outer sleeve on him. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Alabama. Alabama, Ooh. How long was the flight? It was, four hours? Yeah, it was around four hours, but it was pretty quick. We got here at like mm. three, so Yeah, it wasn't bad. It. <laughs> oh, that's good. Thank you. Oh, oh I know time. I know you chose the Ancestor. Yeah. I'm assuming it's the, le the left, yeah. since it's clean. What made you want to choose that concept? So, I've always wanted to get something like that, uh -huh. because my dad's side of the family is from Mexico. Uh-huh, okay. Um, and I've always like felt kind of drawn uh -huh. to that side of the family. Okay. It's one of those concepts that I'm connected to and yeah. I love the culture so much that having to put it on someone is like everything to me. I'm about to break nice. it down for you. Cool. This is what I put together. So the god that's on the top, his name is Tlaloc and he is uh, the god of rain. The god that's underneath Tlaloc, we have uh, Huichilopochtli. He is Man. the god of war. I, uh, that's you, what I wanted actually. Uh, for real, like, yes. That is awesome. That's Dude, weird. I am That's so, kind of weird. That's it. That's so crazy. Well, I got the chills right Dude, now. Dude, for real. Like, I got the chills right now. When I now. thought about this years ago, like, oh. I was like, that's who I want. You know what I mean? The but then I saw the priority design. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, well, that's his thing, and yeah, I want to yeah. get something from him, and whatever. But that's pretty crazy. That is that's insane. Cool. Dude, I got the chills right now. That is insane. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. These two gods are the main gods that are located in the Aztec Pyramid. Templo Mayor. Is this a go? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. That's awful. Awesome. I knew eventually I wanted to get something like this, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and so when it came to, like, now, I was like, okay, I'm making a little better money, mm -hmm. like, you know, but then it's the struggle of, like, where do I go? Yes. Who do I trust? You yeah, know what I mean? The like, trust. Yeah. Trust is so, everything. So, yeah, this it definitely makes me feel way better about everything. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for reals. Putting together this project was honestly super fun. I put a lot of significance to it. Everything makes sense about it. I, I studied every part of it. And uh, I'm gonna, I, I just wanna show you guys the way I, I, I kind of broke it down. And it took me a while to put this together, to be honest, because man, it. I think I worked on this for close to 20 hours, I gotta say. And uh, I'm just really excited to get this done. Here is the whole project. Uh, I, I wanted to hand draw everything. Uh, because I, I didn't want to feel limited. So once you start seeing a whole bunch of uh, statues and a whole bunch of references, your judgment can get a little clouded and uh, almost settled. And that is just my opinion for me. We got Dashiukowalt. He also appears in the Aztec calendar. There's so much significance behind the history of the Dashiukowalt. This is basically the weapon of Huichilopochtli. Uh, then we have here as a little uh, earpiece I ended up putting two circles, and what that signifies, it's a shield. He, he is connected to the a hummingbird. I ended up customizing the features of a, of a hummingbird to make it look like a headdress. And then I added this nice little uh, design here that makes the, the beak of the hummingbird, but what this signifies is uh, wind, el viento. Then on the middle here of uh, both of these Aztec uh, gods, or Mexicas, I added uh, Tonati. And what this is, it is basically uh, the Nahuatl word for sun. So I ended up adding this as a centerpiece to kind of connect them together. And on the top here, uh, we have uh, Tlaloc, uh, one of my favorite gods, and for him it's a, it was a little bit easier to customize just because it is very straightforward. This tongue split in the middle, it is meant to signify that there is a snake here and there is a snake here facing each other. The reason why I picked both of these gods to put them together, it is because when they built the empire, the Mexica empire, they, it, they, they made the main pyramid, which, which is called El Templo Mayor. And it went through so much construction throughout the years, but they always had something in common. They had two little temples on the top. Here, I'll show you. Might as well. Templo Mayor. Tenemos dos templos arriba de la pirámide. Esta de aquí tiene el color 
azul para que represente a Tlaloc. Y al lado derecho tenemos a el templo de Huichilopochtli que está en color rojo. Entonces lo que hacía aquí era de que en esta área del templo es donde hacían los rituales. Y aquí quitaban el corazón y todo ese asunto, ¿vea? Pero aquí desechaban los cuerpos para que se fueran hasta abajo de las escaleras. Y aquí abajo no se alcanza a mirar, pero si se alcanza a mirar aquí, tenemos una especie como de talismán que está grandísimo. Que eso significa uh, que ahí es donde mataron a Coyol Shauki. Según cuenta la historia de que Cualtlicue es la madre de Coyol Shauki y de Huichilopochtli. Y también tuvo 400 hijos y hijas que son las estrellas. Aquí el problema es que cuando Cualtlicue se embarazó por última vez de el dios de la guerra, de Huichilopochtli, inmediatamente Coyol Shauki vio ese evento como algo muy deshonorable. Entonces, el propósito de Coyol Shauki fue de que voy a matar a Huichilopochtli. Este, pero bueno, es una historia muy larga. El, el punto de esta historia es de que llegó el momento de la guerra donde Coyol Shauki y los 400 hermanos y hermanas quisieron matar a Huichilopochtli, pero Huichilopochtli es un pesado, ¿verdad? Pero después de una batalla sangrienta, Huichilopochtli le gana a su hermana, la decapita... Y avienta el cuerpo de arriba hasta abajo. Y es por eso que tenemos este talismán aquí con Coyol Shauki abajo. Este, y a, después de eso empezaron los sacrificios humanos sacando el corazón acá y aventando el cuerpo abajo. Es, es un poco más de eso, ¿verdad? Pero eso es para que entiendan un poquito de la historia. A pesar de todas las construcciones que tuvieron, estas dos, este, estas dos partes de la pirámide siempre tuvieron en común. Siempre quedaron a, siempre tenían a Tlaloc y siempre tenían a Huichilopochtli. Entonces, por eso voy a llamar a esta pieza el Templo Mayor. But before I keep talking, I'm gonna stop right there. Uh, there is so much to the history of Mexicas, but I've been studying uh, the, the history for the last four years and uh, it's so much to learn and I'm, I'm so passionate about it that I'm able to put together these concepts and give them themes and names and you have no idea how refreshing it is to be able to create something like this. After so long of studying the, the culture, I'm able to put this together. If anything, what I'm doing is enhancing the, the meaning uh, of the each individual uh, God and giving it more meaning. And as some of you know, I don't talk about this very often, but as some of you know, I, I've learned the culture so much that now I'm starting my new journey of learning the language of Nahuatl. And it's a little complicated, but I'm putting a lot of time and effort into this because I want to further understand the culture. And, and if I don't understand the language, I won't be able to figure out the rest. And that's it. But this video is going to be so long, man. <laughs> You guys wanted this. You guys wanted more vlogging, and I'm vlogging. I see you anxiously walking, bro. Oh, yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> I see you pacing back and forth. I was like, oh, he's nervous. I can't sit for any longer. <laughs> he's nervous. I got this one from my friend that died. It was my first one. And then family tree that's not done yet. This kind of relates to jiu-jitsu. And then I was in Thailand, um, and I lived at a Muay Thai kickboxing school i got a a hindu tattoo or like a buddhist tattoo out when i was out there that is that tight. a lot of them have yeah That's fun. We just finished up putting on the stencil. Uh, I got my, my tray ready. All I'm using today is just all the black. The reason why I'm just using all the black is because I want to keep the richness of the statues really bright and very texturized. So I have just all the black and the needle selection that I'm doing is uh, a 14 round liner, a seven round liner, and a 13 curve mag. Uh, and lastly, I don't have a reference with me. The reason why I don't have a reference, it is because I freehanded everything on my tablet. I, I hand drew everything. Hand drew or hand drawn? <laughs> hand drew. 
uh, the whole entire project. So everything's out of my memory. So I'm gonna be able to put the contrast and the highlights uh, wherever I feel is gonna look the best. So I am excited to get this project started. On this area, I'm gonna be really gentle. I don't wanna, I don't wanna overpower the texture of the snake and overdo it. I'm going here too, very gentle, lightly. I like the way it's so bright in here, so gentle. A little bit of the scribble technique here, just a little bit. I wanna do this whole thing dark and transition from really dark to super bright right here. And again, the scribble technique. I'm finding my rhythm now. Like I, I know how to create the texture that I want to see on this piece. So it's getting easier to navigate. I don't want to make it look too dark because that's going to ruin the highlight. There is a lot of texture going on, so now what I gotta do is go super dark in here to make this stand out and glow. It's very important to continue using the scribble technique because it's gonna allow the, the whole piece to flow. You don't wanna change the style midway unless a specific area of that piece has to be different then that's totally understandable but since my goal is to make everything look like a statue i gotta continue the same rhythm of using the scribble technique I decided to switch to a nine, I believe it's a nine curve mag or a 13, I'm not sure. But I wanted to switch because this is an area that I needed to be solid black. And uh, using the liner is almost unnecessary on this area. I'm just gonna leave like a fuzzy uh, edge so I can blend it out with my liner. But I definitely wanted to just real quick go at it so it can be solid, uh, no texture here. But as you can see, it was a pretty quick, uh, it's a quick, pretty quick uh, packing of the black. So now I'm gonna switch to my seven mile liner. Boom. And now I'm gonna start blending it out. 
just slightly, not too much, but just enough. Day one went pretty smooth. I'm pretty much um, finishing up today's session, uh, setting myself up for uh, day number two. I'm just excited to continue this project tomorrow and finish it up. Get it! Six cents, you know? Let's finish it, bro. I'm ready. Let's do it. I'm glad that it, it doesn't look swollen, it just looks. All it, yeah. oh, easy day today, easy. Today is day number two and we're about to complete the outer sleeve uh, uh, Aztec cultural project that I have here on Jeremy. We got really far yesterday. Uh, I'm really surprised on how far we got. We ended up going for 10 hours, right? Oh, yeah. About 10 hours, pretty chill day today. So I'm gonna take it easy and relax and have fun. So same thing as yesterday, I'm gonna be using um, just pure solid black and with uh, two needles today, which is a 14 round liner and a seven round liner with a voltage of a 5.0. I wanna make sure that every part of this, 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 this uh, top part of this project is full of texture. At the moment, what I'm doing is I'm packing in black with my uh, with the mag because I feel like it's gonna be faster and less irritating to the skin. So what I'm doing here is uh, packing it in with my nine curve mag. I'm running it at a 5.0 voltage so I can be able to take my time and really uh, layer up my my tones here. <laughs>
Thank you so much for coming back and watching this brand new video. I really appreciate you. And I hope you guys enjoyed this new kind of video that I did, vlogging style with real time tattooing, all that. Let me know if you guys, in, if you got, hold on, pause. Let me know if you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, I'll keep making more just like this one. Drop a comment, let me know. So with that being said, if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.